Hello friends, my name is Anshul and you are watching our channel The Insight Coders. So this video is regarding the projects that we generally create during our college time and even after that for the industry. So here are a few projects that we will be covering in this playlist. A part of that, let me just tell you a part of this YouTube videos. We also have some paid courses that our organization provides. And these courses are majorly on pure languages like Python, Java, C, C++ and all these. A part of that we also cover some subjects that are covered in BTEC, BCA, BSc, Computer Science and other things. So these are like Data Structure, OOPS, DBMS, DAR, Automata Theory and all these subjects are covered. Even we have many projects and we also organize the summer vacation project like summer bootcamp which is generally of 6 weeks and also provide a proper certificate to you so that you can show that to you in your college and the projects cover AI based projects, desktop based projects, web based projects and game development and a part of that for placement preparation. So for interview preparation, we have a placement preparation batch. So they have, we have two batches. One is a proper batch and another one is a crash course for the interview preparation, which covers everything, your technical interview, HR, behavioral and the resume building along with your introduction preparation. So coming to the projects, so as I mentioned, we have trainings for AI based projects, which includes a lot of projects. So we'll be covering these projects in very briefly on the YouTube channel. But if you want to understand how exactly these projects are created and want to learn the tech stack of these projects, so you are most welcome and you can enroll us. There would be a link given in the description. You can either enroll yourself over that link or the other option is you can contact us on our insta handles so these are few projects that we generally make uh, like we'll be covering as well that is toll plaza vehicle counting system attendance management system security and surveillance and many more for web based projects these are few projects that we'll be covering as of now even though the playlist will be uh, like we'll be adding on the projects in this playlist itself so please stay tuned for with the and you can subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us so that you can see what all projects will be covering. These are few desktop based applications that we'll be creating in Python tinter or the other way is using the Java swing. And the last one is the game development. So one game is Space 4 which have two different levels and another game is car racing game with four different levels. Even uh, like a part of these games, as I mentioned, all many other projects are being added up continuously in this playlist. So stay tuned with the playlist. So in this playlist, let's see what exactly is the project for us in this specific. So this is the project of automatic attendance management system using machine learning. That means it is using face recognition to mark your attendance. So here you can see this project basically consists of few modules and these modules are let's start the project and once we start the project you can see here are multiple projects that modules that we are using within this project which is like create database we can also reset the database if you want we have to capture the samples because we have to mark the attendance so for that we need some samples like who all are the people even if you want you can delete the samples we have to train the faces and for that we will be using two things. One is the face detection and the other one is the face recognition. After that, we will be marking the attendance. You can also view the attendance and there is a small tricky and a little interesting part in this project. That is we can also create a presentation using the Python itself without using PowerPoint or any other tool. So let's start with it. So this is a use case diagram and the use case diagram basically denotes what all we have in the what all activities do we have in the project. So it is like you can enroll your face, you can train your face and everything and who all are the entities who are associated with it. So coming to the PowerPoint that I was mentioning. So you can see here it is working by its own and it's just keep on going like to show the flow how exactly we are going to do so here is the project that we have the initial task is to create a database so let's do one thing let's start with creating a thank database. you and it is saying thank you that means it has already created the database for us let's see if it has been created or not 
so you can see we have it has created the folder that we require to capture the samples let's go back let's start capturing the samples now so once we click on it so it will ask for the name since we want that sample to be named with some person so that it can recognize and mark the attendance for that person right so the name we entered is bridge bar let's save it now let's do one thing thank you the capture the samples have been captured successfully let's initially see if the cap samples are there or not so you can see like in the folder itself it was there but the recognizer folder is empty as of now the next task we have is to train the model so what exactly train the model is going to do we are training the model so that the face recognition algorithm knows who all are the people and what are their names so let's click on train model and here you will be seeing that in the recognizer folder Thank a you. yaml file will be created so you can see here we have the yaml file let's open it and then you can see there is a proper file that we have and in this file it consists of the data in the form of matrices and where it has stored everything related to the person face and everything whatever it wants so this is the trained model that we have let's come back to our project now before that let's do one thing we have the data set you know we have trained the model now the uh, the entire algorithm works on this that model so let's do one thing let's just delete all the samples and see even though if it works or not definitely it will work just because these samples are of no use since we have already trained the model and model knows who is the person and what are the features of the person's face so let's delete it let's go back to the project let's try to recognize the face so once we click on it you can see the person's name is being recognized even though the person is moving here and there but the still the he is the camera is able to recognize it and once we click on mark attendance it will automatically mark that attendance. thank you and you can see there was some date mentioned let's see what was the date and everything so for view attendance there is a csv file so excel is being maintained for that and you can see this was the person's name for this specific timestamp and last thing the about us page so this shows like this what the project is and who developed the project so this is our team the tutor that we have that is mr brishpal kambuj so this was all for this specific video i hope you just enjoyed it thank you